Old Beaver, away! Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Crits Cast. We are back again with yet another Highlander season. We're breaking that barrier of the second, I want to say second decade. Let's just say decade. It's 20, season 20 of ETF2L Highlander, and we have week one of Premiership action here for you today, and it's two behemoths of the division. We'll be battling out with Chino. You could say this is a six-pointer. Whoever wins this will be definitely laying down the gauntlet for the remainder of the season. In one corner, we have defending champions SCCK, and opposing them are five times runners-up Failer Esports. We'll be seeing if they can, uh, you know, stop being the bridesmaid and maybe one day be the bride. I am CJ, and tonight I am joined by Extra Solar as my co-caster and V Hoofed doing all of the uh, the smart nerdy stuff in the background. Extra Solar, you are uh, kind of looking forward to this game, like big game to to start off the season with, right? Uh, yeah, and shout out to Weird Hoof for uh, reminding me that I am casting tonight and not merking sixes. So thanks for that. But I think you, know, you mentioned the six pointer. I think both teams looking to really get that early lead, that early edge for the playoff seeding. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Like that's the thing. You know, there, there's points on the table, but when you come up against the teams that are going to be, you know, edging you for playoffs, it can be a really big deal. And we take a look at the table. These are the teams that have made it into the Premiership division for this season. We have SCCK, Fail Esports, Kitties, Bark and Bandami, who won Division 1 last season, Envision, who were runners-up in Prem last season, and then we have Multinational Massacre Reborn and The Spy, two newer faces who uh, will be seeing what they can do for the season. But right now, we are readying up on PL Upward. We have SCCK versus Failure. On SCCK, we will have the following lineup, and it's pretty familiar faces across the board with a couple of changes. May is going to be on Scout, Jackie Legs on Soldier, Yahoo on Pyro, Nubby is playing Demo. I do believe he is the main Demo now instead of Sandburn, who was the Demo of last season. Podska or Poker on Heavy. Rambosaur is going to be on Engineer, replacing Clark, who I believe has had uh, issues with his computer, can no longer play. Um, Gedu on Medic. Kazarok on Sniper and Mezzo on Spy, while Fela has Dreamy on Scout, Roboprod on Soldier, Sis on Pyro, Joe on Demo, Included Middle on Engineer, Spamfest on, sorry, Middle on Heavy, Spamfest, aka Lily on Engineer, Layla on Medic, Carpy on Sniper, and finally Aji on Spy. I'm going to stop talking now, actually, so you can take it away. What do you see during this uh, this suicide? Oh, well, right away, Carpy just uh, getting the far shot onto Kazarov. We've got uh, Nubby going in with the parachute sack wave, if you can get anything. Um, but it gets, again, done by Carpy, so that suicide is over. We've got Jackie Logan on his trademark, direct it. Trying to get some space on the right, the sentry's in a denial spot. Uh, Sack comes in for Mezzo, but uh, Spamfest is far too wise for that. Can't be right now on a free K, he's killed Poker as well, so it's looking to be a nice little reset for Side of Favor. A it's interesting now. position from the, uh, the sentry there from Spamfest. Just kind oh, yeah. of watching, it's, it's not in a position to get spammed, it's not really protecting your medic, but it's in a position to deny the jumpers that are going to go for the sniper and see where Carpy is positioned aggressively here on the tracks onto a 5k now. We've got, yeah, we've got middle on the stairs as well, just watching for that soldier coming in. I think they, they've done their homework, they know Jack and Legs basically always runs direct on this first point. So just anything to like just get rid of that is really good. And Fela right now looking quite strong in this defense. They've only so far lost Dreamy to two sack waves. Yeah, I mean, looking pretty strong, like nobody really major going down for Fela. I say that, Jackie Lake's coming in with the direct hit, does take down Carpy, ending that kill streak. So no sniper means that Gedu is going to be very comfortable in walking out here. And uh, looks like Nubby is going to be the one to maybe take this Uber forward, get aggressively. And the Ubers are traded, Layla using very early onto middle. He does get a bunch of damage down, but can't really chase with any of this... Uh, any yep. of this slow, heavy movement. Yeah, they have poker very weak after the Uber there. They have, but they got um, actually a robo prod there, so no soldier. Look, the frags are coming in now for SCK. I don't know what to do. Just spamming out this area on the repush. And Layla goes down to Kazarok there, so the, uh, the hold that was looking quite strong for Fayo Esports just got completely denied in the post Uber. And Kazarok heart Layla. I think he's actually hearting putting bullets through her head right now. And that Interesting was just, fellow. <laughs> just 
It's just clinical from ACCK. The issue Fela had there was that they had the better Uber, but the entire Uber was put onto their heavy, and their heavy cannot chase. You need somebody who can use that better Uber to take some space. And where they just sat down there, they allowed SCCK to just walk all over them. And again, they're defending from a very passive position. They've lost Joe, they've lost middle, they have lost their sentry gun. Hoska getting a ton of damage down there. Obviously, nothing going to happen on this second point, but Geru does not look like he's going to be forced. So this Uber may be able to use to honor the third point here. Yeah, I think a lot of pressure on Carpy right now to hit this shot here. The only real saving grace of Fader Esports there was that Kazarok did die to the spy of Ajay there right at the end. So, uh, actually, no, they're going to walk straight through. They don't fit Carpy at all. They've gotten laid with Slap from Messer. Yeah, they used the Uber. I think it's more because they weren't too sure what was around the corner, but they heard there was a sniper. You know, there was a headshot that rung out, but Nubby did take down Joe earlier on in the push, like before the push. He might die here, no, he gets saved there by Gedu, but Nubby just being aggressive with the heals and uh, taking down Joe, and people are just throwing themselves forward. Aji dies there as he tries to go for a pick. Nubby has gone down eventually. Yeah, um, uh, Nubby but look and where the it's, yeah, it's, it's very awkward fight here for um, SCK just because they Ubered in so early. They've got this entire roller coaster to go up. The cart was like just basically on the bridge on second when they got in there. So they've had to just sit on a shelf, just really like in an awkward position. And it's allowed Fader to just get some get, get their gun up and maybe get a bit of ground here. Yeah, and Robocop's uh, gone in with the Chalians as well. Yeah, getting really aggressive. Look how weak Gedu is. Um, at 84% does want to survive there and not lose actually hiding underneath the tracks oh, the cart's only just been focused like yeah. for, that, for that entire just exchange of players there like no one shot people on the cart so it's already up these final hills here really awkward egg. Um, Gedu dies very very late on was trying to survive hiding underneath the tracks and was doing a pretty good job but just couldn't get out Poker tried to throw a sandwich to maybe help him escape you know have a little munch on the way out didn't really work um, and dies at 84%, that does mean he has to start building again. He's at 20% now, and Layla's on the 100%. So, you know, you see that car, that means one exchange here, one good exchange, get some car time, could work out really well for them. Yeah, Nubby just all alone on the car tracks there, trying to take that where Pro didn't realize he, got a, he caught an arrow there. And they've lost a demo man and a soldier for the attacking team now, but only the heavy down, the, sorry, the soldier down for the defending side of Fela. Looking, they're looking to stabilize on this point now, take a lot of ground. They have to make sure this cart rolls back so they can actually get some time. And that, 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 that pick, that'll help them there. Actually, they're getting uh, Gedu there. That's a really big pick. I'm taking a look at Posca right now. He's in uh, Sheer House so and uh, carpy has gone down. This could have... Uh, <laughs> yeah, look, how, look at the cart. Posca is going to come in. He's taking a lot of the attention and they will get the cap. And that is so well played. They lose their medic. They know the enemy medic has a huge Uber. You can go for sacks here, but it's quite difficult when that, you know, you've got a sentry, you've got a heavy set up. So what do they do? They just send their players forward from all different directions and focus that cap. And now they're getting forward respawns and they're forcing Fela down onto the last point. And uh, 441 is still a pretty fast time for these first three points. Uh, SCK is a massive Uber ad to contend with now. It is slowly decreasing as Gedu is building quite well. It's only a 5% ad currently. That entry pick on, uh, on middle there may also take a little bit of ground. It's now looking a bit cagey. Just, it's just uh, Sis and Layla here on the helper carry above drop down. And Yahoo is just going to pressure them straight out, force that Uber. Um, Jack and guys died to Aji, I think, or Kazarok as well. So, either way, they got the force. That's what they wanted. Dego is currently nice and safe in his spawn, waiting for his players to come up. Yeah, it's a, it's a really, it's actually, you know, one of these maps where um, you, you don't really have the space to kind of jump people in. It's very, very narrow, um, but it is possible to get some good forces and Kazarok gets the body shot onto Layla. That means there's no heals for the defensive team here. Gedu hasn't actually used his Uber yet. So they've got four picks, including the medic. They've got a sentry to deal with, um, but Spamfest is going to have to do a lot of work. It does go down though. And yeah, Nubby cleaning up the NG, Kazarok cleaning up the sniper. Nubby also gets a kill onto the heavy there, middle going down, getting so much damage down, and the car is going to go in 609. Um, you know, not again, you know, this isn't one of these revolutionary, super fast times extra solar, but that is, uh, that is, I don't want to say unopposed, but it was pretty smooth sailing for most of that offense. Yeah, I think the maybe SCK are expecting to get a little bit faster time, maybe a minute less, but he did get a tiny bit stored there on the third, uh, just a, t a bit overzealous there. Mm -hmm. um, they were slow getting the car in late on the next push, but really it's upward third. If you're pushing that in under a minute, then you... I don't, don't know what's wrong with the enemy team. Um, it was unfortunate for Fader on last. He had a bit of a chance to stabilize. But I think they were just giving a bit too much respect to the side of Dickmans. They, uh, they could have ideally just tried to maybe get someone in to get onto Daegu and just kill him with their Uber, but 
Unfortunately, the, uh, I don't think they were down there heavy at the time, so it was a bit cagey just letting, as I said, letting Layla just stay alone there basically with Sis and drop down. Um, sure, you can deny the soldier coming up through there, but the pyro is, it's you who. It's very difficult. I mean, Sis, I think, like, almost always runs detonator as well. So it's basically, like, just a 17 damage weapon versus the shotgun. Mm -hmm. it's yeah, for him. I mean, it's, it's it's kind of there's there's multiple different holds you can do on last here. You know, you have an aggressive hold, you have a passive hold, and then there's kind of semi passive hold where you want to hold top, but you don't want to hold up really aggressively on top because there is that risk of being forced um, and being in a position there. You can see how easy it was for SCK to get the force now, but it's now up to Failure Esports to see what they can do on their offense wave, and um, who knows, maybe a drop for them um, or two could actually end up with them getting a pretty fast time and Kazarok gets the first kill of this defensive wave and we'll see and actually he was used really really early by Layla onto Joe and Gedu responds in kind and you see the difference here Poker and Yahoo just taking the top ground keeping an eye out and Joe looks like he wants to re-push here but a lot of damage down there actually so there's so many players weak on the side of SCCK yeah, I think um, that uh, Kazarok actually is down to Carpy. You know, this SCS is one for the blue team. I think he's doesn't even get a meso though. I think they, they might have spotted that Dago was just playing on the high ground, so it just couldn't be bombed essentially. So Jot's just take the trade through anyway. Um, it's a bit of a slow fight here. It's quite even. Um, both snipers are well. Actually, Carpy's only just respawned, and they're, they're bullying out the demo man of Nubby here, taking a lot of cart time forwards. And you see this sometimes in, in teams that'll either do a, a first sack wave, or just to see where they are or a second and I'll just see where they are, but look at that, that complete collapse from the conch of Jackie Legs. Takes down the entire combo and Layla. I can almost hear what Jackie Legs is like screaming. I, it's not really <laughs> safe for work, so I'm not going to repeat it, but it involves in, in doing stuff to the enemy team because he has a conch, you know, just yeah. like really well played that. I mean, there was a couple of things that happened. Aji gets the backstab on to uh, Rambosaur, but Yahoo's running the, the power jack, or no, the power jack, sorry, the, the home wrecker, and removes the sapper, so the sentry is still guarding some of the ground, which was really important, and it meant the SCCK was able to regroup and oh, push Mezzo. Mezzo with two kills and Poker with two kills, just cleaning up here, and they just look so comfortable. And there we go, Jackie jumping in, knowing that he can take some ground. He said, look, there's just a heavy and a medic, and look at May and Nubby, they're on the chase. They get Aji down, which isn't a, a huge kill in the sense of not getting the medic as on the chase, but they forced the entire team to be either die or go all the way back to spawn. There's a high bomb for Prod here onto playground. It doesn't really seem to get much done here. And there's another conch out for Jack Has this man ever not got the conch? <laughs> I mean, it's just so effective with that black box. You become so independent. Oh, you're just healing yourself. <gasps> Mezzo but, gets but two Mezzo kills. Gets, no one is looking for Mezzo right now. Like every time the failure of walked up left side, he's gotten two kills, like completely unchecked. Like, yeah, and Kazarok got two as well. Like it seems every time someone gets a double, someone else gets a double as well. Like Mezzo mm. gets two backstabs, Kazarok gets a headshot, and then also SMGs uh, down Aji, and he also gets another kill down to Roboprod, actually uh, helping May dominate the uh, the opposing soldier. So, um, well, just under three and a half minutes to go. It's still possible mathematically, but you know it's equal Ubers on the first point still, and Failure having to use the Uber really early on here. Yeah, it's, it's not looking good for them. They're just getting completely denied by the Sentry and Pyro. Look how aggressive uh, Poker is now. He does actually go down to the combination of Middle and uh, Joe there. But it's only three left alive for the side of Failure Esports. Oh, Meso again. Oh. Yeah, well, I mean... <laughs> advantage again for, for Gedu, I suppose. Unfortunate from uh, from Jackie just slipping off the the edge of the world there. The camera did pick it up. v Hoofter catches well, all your mistakes. There's no way of uh, so avoiding that. Up put his proof of flat earth after all. <laughs> if, you, if you sail too far, you just fall off the edge. Yeah, there is, there is an edge. He's just across by the Wrangler. Oh, it's not the, oh the different, different Wrangler there. It's the, uh, the old space Wrangler using by uh, Rambus or the alien Wrangler. Um, He's got that from Area 51, I see. <laughs> a couple of players dying here though, and it does look like SCCK probably won't be able to hold for much longer. They are backing out, but like you said, Gedu does have that uber advantage. By the time uh, oh, Meso gets a kill on to, to middle, and yeah, four minutes for first point is um, not looking too yeah, good, Chief. it's pretty rough. It's, it's still pretty advantage rough. as well for the defenders. I mean, they've got player at big time, uh, Failure do, but no no Joe. So it's going to be very difficult like to get space here with Disad and no Joe. Yeah. And you see Kaz is watching this. Actually loses the SPS to Carpy. He's getting tanked there. They might just try and take some ground off this. But Nubby, he knows that he's got their amount advantage and the Uber advantage, and they've just tried to use in. Layla's running out bottom left. She does live in the end. Um, double kill coming out from Aji there onto the Pyre and the Heavy. And it's also, um, Failure going to try and repush this. 
And Nobby might die, I don't know. Then no one's looking at him, Joe, piping. <laughs> he stands on his head. <laughs> Nobby's just like, I'm just gonna stand on top of you, you can't kill me. Um, I mean, at the end of the day, like, it looks really, really good for Fela right now, but you just need to take a look at the top of the screen and see what time's left. SCK getting aggressive, knowing that, you know, if they were to sit back, then they would take an Uber trade, and by this point, maybe Fela would have got some uh, some kind of ground pushing onto third, but they know they had they, uh, a bit of a, an advantage. They pushed forward, cleaned up a bunch of players, which meant that the Fela push when they had their Uber wasn't as good. It just meant that, okay, they ended up cleaning up a bunch of players, but it's essentially equal Ubers right now. Look where the cart is, you know, Spamfest trying solo to push this cart, but, you know, Mezzo actually trying to block it as well. Actually, actually kills Jackilick, so maybe some more cart time is going to be put down. But it's all about just doing things that annoy the enemy team. doesn't necessarily automatically make you win, but it's just slowing them down. And at the moment, Fela can't afford to lose any more time. But Robofront does get a kill on Gedu, so that's going to be a nice tasty one for the logs. Yeah, I mean, it's always good to pad your logs at the end. We are officially in the Highlander dead time, TM. As, uh, I think Middle's trying to pad his own logs here. Who's crouching behind the car? I don't think he's going to be feeding to Middle's logs today. Um, yeah, I think it was looking really good on the second push. Like, if Fela had pushed that first point just, like, maybe a minute and a half faster, um, they could have perhaps just gone for a bit, bit of a cheeky roll through second, but... I don't know, it's, um, they're just getting really stalled. Every time they try and do a sack wave, they're down two or three players, and then Mezzo kills two people during the wave or during, like, their Uber push. So it's... They need to shut down just this... This, this Wrangler just demolishing everything, this Contra of Jackie and, like, the Spy of Mezzo. So right now, that's just basically like, just cementing this position they have on first. Like four minutes with yeah. the first point when you've got six minutes to push, that's just, it's just not going to fly. But essentially, that's what happens. Like when you have these exchanges, if you have a slightly better Uber or you're repushing off of an Uber trade, you need to clean up those players. This is, it doesn't matter what game mode you're playing. If you do 100 damage to everybody, on the enemy team, that doesn't matter unless, you know, those players die. It's better to do 200 damage to one person than it is 100 to two. You know, as long as you remove one of those players out of the equation. And when you end up in a situation like STCK were a couple of times on the defense on that first point, they had eight or nine players still alive. They were all very weak, but none of them got cleaned up. Failure weren't going in for the kill. They were doing, you know, having a great exchange, going in and putting damage, but they weren't, you know, really committing that extra step. And that meant STCK were able to heal up, regroup, and like you said, that aggressive push from uh, from Jackie with the conch was just able to, to assist them in taking that space back. And when you've got people like Kazarok just popping off headshots repeatedly, and Mezzo in the back lines ready to get a get a, get a kill, they were just cleaning up in in, in the uh, in the long term. So Fela definitely need to maybe commit slightly harder, um, regardless of how many players they've lost. Because you know on the attack, you can uh, you can do a lot more damage. Your respawns are slightly faster. You're in a better position. It's all about judging when and when uh, when and where to to go in and how far to go in, right? Oh, exactly. I mean, if you if you in it to win it, you want to just try and take that ground off the defenders. Um, if you let them just retake ground, you've essentially just used your for nothing. Um, it's, it's a tiny bit of cart time and really once the cart gets around that corner and upward first you're not getting any more unless you uh, <laughs> you win the Uber trade so mm -hmm. what do you, what, who do you think really has to step up here for Fela to try and uh, get his attack again as they are attacking again this first point um, I, I don't think there's any individuals that need to step up I mean I think at this point like with all due respect, everybody at this level knows how to play the game. Like, if you're playing in a game like mm -hmm. this, you're playing for one of these two teams, you're expecting to, to maybe be top three and reach that final and, and potentially win Prem. So, you know, there's no point in patronizing and saying this person's not doing good enough. I'm sure they're on the team for a reason, right? But I think collectively, Fela need to maybe commit slightly harder. For example, on, on, the, uh, on the high ground there, when they captured the first point, they were just chilling by the slope and... You know, realistically, what they should have done is committed a whole bunch of pay players. Layla, run away. You know, you're the medic, stay alive. But everyone else, commit and try and get that force on Gedu. Try and get some get some ground, get some damage on the medic, get the force. But they didn't. They just waited until their respawns came. Once Joe arrived, then the counter who became on them. So um, I think they need to maybe just uh, rethink their strats and, and get that synergy going a little bit better. But it is the first game of the season. So um, who knows what will happen in the second round as everyone started, you know, warmed up a bit. Yeah, we do have the well-oiled machine that is STCK, just, uh, they will punish you for just not taking that space here. And Joe's actually on Deku straight away. Doesn't get any damage down, the sentry does kill him in the end. Um, so, 
you know, it's, it's the first sack where you're basically doing it to find out where everybody is. Um, but, you know, uh, Dago right now is just uh, drop down back onto the stairs. I'm good, classic aggressive hold. Uh, nothing so much happening yet. Yeah, it's just kind of a you know big jump in from Joe again, going all the way around, getting some stickies down, but um, it's actually still behind. <laughs> Getting damage down, but you know, eventually he goes down there to May. May was just waiting for an arrow and then just curves around and then gets the kill. So, you know, a bit of a delayed death there, but nothing really of worth going down. Aji is lurking. Maybe going for a play onto Nubby here, but gets seen and will cost him his life there. Um, I mean, generally on these points, I mean, what, what would your preference be here, extra solar? Like, do you always go for the force or do you think it's better to go for something else? Well, usually it's, try, it's good to try and get that sniper down, and if the med's holding that close to the stairs, you want to just try and just bodyguard your sniper onto the far right and just see if you can get like any headshots at all onto anyone. And Carpy right now has won the SBS. He's killed Kazarov. No May either. So this far right is very free ground right now, and the Uber's been forced. So maybe we could, might have to do that, see a repush come out from, uh, from Fader Respawn. Suddenly got the respawn is up, and Kazarov is down for another five seconds. Uh, I believe the teleporter was killed as well. Take <gasps> Carpy. Yeah. Carpy gets the body shot to Kedu, and SCSK definitely have to back out here and regroup. But I think Rambasaur and Yahoo are going to maybe try to help each other out. Or maybe yeah, Jackie, they're going to commit here. Yeah, yeah Jackie's, um, they're sort of half in, half out here. Jackie's used his, his conch. I think he was sort of expecting his team to either commit or leave, and they ended up really doing neither. So we've got Jackie is sort of a little bit caught here, and so is Poker. He's stuck behind. He's uh, killed the mini so far, and he's still behind on one HP. Was eventually get taken down, but now SCK are four play five players down now on the second point here, so maybe a chance for Fader just to roll forward. Yeah, this is pretty much second point gone now. Like I, I thought that I thought Rambo was trying to, to get out, but he stayed in wrangling and I thought, what's he doing? And then I saw everybody else of SCK was in front yeah. of him. A bit of a questionable decision from my end, you know, why why would you stay in there? You know, when you've lost that many players and you have this huge uber disag, you don't really want to commit. But you do see SCSK playing slightly aggressive here, getting playing on the high ground with Poker and Nubby. And they are 80%. They've been building this uber fairly well. And Layla still has the 100% charge from the first point, didn't have to use it. So Layla are going to take the second point in 244. But it does mean that uh, we are expecting a bit of an exchange here. And Ramsell using this aggressive sentry that uh, we've seen Clark use in the past. Aji does go down, and I think Fela may be questioning what they're going to do here, just focusing the car a bit more. Yeah, the gun's gone down right away as well, so no more breath of sentry there. Um, Poker's going to die on the high ground as well. That's Poker and May down. That's no flank for the side of SCK, and Kazarok down as well. Roller coaster, apart from Dome, actually, pretty free. Then they drop Nubby in the Uber SCK have, so there's, again, very little swagger on the cart now. All he was being used onto Jack and Yahoo, trying to just kill players around the cart here, but look, there's only four players left alive for them. Yeah, Joe is extremely weak and actually runs underneath the cart and uh, he's going to live. Jackie didn't decide to contest, probably didn't realize how weak he was, but a conch coming in from Jackie. There you go. Wanted to stay alive and maybe recommit. Robo Robo in. The big bomb. Big bomb. Gets all the he's way all the way. Yeah, he's yeah. in last. I didn't even get there. He just didn't want to go for anyone else. It seems he gets backstabbed in the end by a medic. That was a really strange turn of events. Just ignores the medic and maybe just wanted to distract and go behind. And SCK have stopped the car at the moment. So Joe just was in the pit for a moment. He, uh, he has deceived me in the end. And Poker's gone down. So they're taking the shelf area. Um, Layla is still weak. So he wants a sandwich from middle. But he's walking forward. Gets hard focus, though, by Scout the Demo Man. So taking this banana area is going to be very difficult for... Fader Esports now, they're just walking over right up, he's bombed around the corner, gets air piped I think, and gets gunned down by uh, Gedu of all people, and it's a very awkward Uber coming out here, Gedu has gone down to the body shot, but um, in the end this very awkward little turn of events will win them the third point. Yeah, I mean, there we go. Failure are doing exactly what I said they should be doing, just being aggressive. You know, the Ubers were pretty much equal, but they had a couple of picks. They had that player ad. They had positioning. They had people on the car, so they're just pushing forward. And because they pushed as soon as they got that Uber, it meant that Gedu does die. He was only at 90%. And he gets body shot out of position there um, by Carpi. So now, 426, we're kind of Middle looking at the same... Game. Oh my gosh, and then Carpy gets Gedu down again. There's no four-up for SCK. It's sort of like a role reversal here in the Fela Esports are just punishing Dickmans for just every tiny little mistake they make, every little positioning mistake, and Kazarok's dead as well. Wasn't able to land at any hero shots. Look at this. Like, they're in the respawns because the cart's so far away, and Mezzo has killed middle. 
so maybe a chance to try and uh, take top here at Bogus Carpet. But Jackie Legs is so weak, he's forced to go under, try and get a health pack. Um, but that mini sentry is being a nuisance to him. Rambosaur has died to Carpy, and Joe's taking this Fox's area. He's 37 health, but he's made a lot of space for his team, and no engineer means that there's very little denial on this car here, apart from those sticky bombs. Yeah, mate cleaned up Layla there. When Jackie got headshot up on the high ground, he was spamming so many rockets, he was taking all the focus, and May slipped in there and got the kill onto Layla, so with her down, Gedu respawns, gets the, uh, the heals onto his team, Nubby um, gets launched into the pit, so Demoman down for SSK right now, and Poker's also been gunned down, so for SSK are, are kind of regrouping a bit here, and they're holding, and it seems like Fela are just starting to throw bombs Oh, Mesa gets Layla at the end then. Yeah, I, if, the, if I they're like, getting I, kills, it's going to work, but at the I moment, I like they're just what they were doing there. Like they, the demo man was down, so Joe decided, let's just pressure main. There's no gun, there's no demo. But it's just, Layla just gets stabbed at the end there, so Pete puts an end to that plan, and the respawn wave has come in. Everyone up here for it, it Dickman's except for Jackie and uh, Dego here, so. We're going to have a small uber advantage, but not anymore. Um, uh, May and Yahoo combining there to take down basically the entire team. Yep, Layla down again, and, and this is what you don't want to happen when you're the attacking team. Like, you get this momentum, and everyone starts to get, like, you know, in Mumble, everyone's going, yeah, 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 you know, starts getting really excited and starts, like, you know, talking faster, and then it just gets a little bit over-exuberant, and you kind of overreach, almost, and that's what's happened here. And now, what Fela needs to do is restabilize, get themselves into a position where they can regroup and push, but they've lost Layla three times in a row to no response, really, and SCK are just chilling on last. They've got a, you know, a sentry set up in a, an annoying position. They've got players, you know, in, posi um, in positions to kind of block the pushing forward. Fela are taking the high ground again, but they don't have any charge to work with, and they just need to be careful that they don't get caught out again. I'm surprised they've actually built this Uber quite well. I mean, it's um, they came from like a 15% dissat to equal Ubers. Well, Adji's on the cart now, so this is running on it as well. Just trying to put bodies on the cart as a distraction. And he four plays left alive. Like, this has just been on the cart. What? So they just get like four picks and put Pyro on the cart and win off that. Okay. Yeah, Sis stood on the car yeah. and was, you know, Pyro on the car expecting to maybe air blast some people off. Didn't even need to. No one contested him. So he just stood on the car and capped it for free. But that's because the rest of his team was going forward and, uh, and cleaning up the frags that were needed. So 721, obviously, you know, a fair bit slower than the previous time, but... It's a massive um, improvement, though. Massive improvement from what we saw in the first in the first round. You know, Fela barely got past the, uh, the first point on the first round and they've managed to push all the way in 721 so SCK are definitely maybe you know sweating under the collar a little bit here just kind maybe, of feeling the pressure maybe they showed their hand a little bit too early with their hold on first I mean it got it got broken a lot faster uh, this time mm. and everyone just seemed to be set up in exactly the same spots uh, I think maybe I, just I them not changing it up happens, a little bit yeah. just not changing up a little bit meant that Fader are much more prepared um, you know rather, rather than being just demoralised by those two failed pushes it's like alright it's a fresh round let's just go and push them and they're in the same spots, so we know how to do it now. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. You learn, you learn, and you kind of adapt during the game. And I feel like in TF2 in general, not necessarily just Highlander, but in, in all game modes, um, the best thing is adapting to what your, your opponent is doing. And you see what they do in one round, you learn from it, and you try to counter it in the next. And definitely that's what Sphaler have done here. And now it's up to SCCK um, to see if they can actually repeat what they did in the first round. If they do, then they win. And it's going to be a quick 2-0 for them and a full six points. But Carpy... Um, again, keeping that trend of the snipers getting the first kills of the round. Takes down May. Big bombs in from everyone, including the Pyro. Um, but they don't actually get the force. Later going down to about 50 HP, but not using. Yeah, the uh, the jetpack didn't quite come in there for Yahoo. He does actually survive, strangely. Using oh, so there's a way to actually get out. Um, there's Grambasaur's dead, so there's no cart time for a while coming up here. We've got Carpy just watching this really aggressive angle with Dreamy here. Just looking for people that are just, you know, preparing to sack. Um, Jackie is not on the direct hit, he's just going to push the car, do a little bit of a high up into the rover prop there. Joe has been doned by Kazarok, though, as a good entry pick. Yeah, Joe going down, no demo man, means it uh, should be pretty free to take this high ground. Only worries, of course, the sniper, Carpy, is still lurking around um, in position, and, uh, you know, if he continues the way that he's been doing so far, the snipers have been pretty on form. If Kazarok just peeks a tiny bit further forward here, he might want to drop Layla. Um, Carpy is dead, so it's fairly free for him, but actually, actually does see Cloak on him. Um, the Uber does come in from uh, getting here, but look how weak everybody is outside of this Uber for SCK. Um, Layla hasn't even had to use yet. Um, there was absolutely no spam going on that dispenser. Um, it's, it's just really a, a very uncharacteristically poor use-in from Dickman's there. I think they just dropped four people like right before the Uber, 
Um, they've got yeah. good ground here, but again, this Blade still has Zulu. Probably careful that they just get used into and demolished. That's the worry, and that's kind of the worst kind of Uber, is when you drop a bunch of players and you use an Uber to try and make the best of a bad situation. In that case, it's better to just run away and try and keep that Uber when all of your players are back up again. And at the moment, SSK are feeding a few players in. They still have a lot of time to work with, but, you know, yeah, oh, he was, he, he, down. He was, he was just late getting out there. I had to cross, like, three sight lines to leave, and it's just punished for it instantly by Carpy. And, you know, we've got, like, two minutes already on this first point, and the cart's currently rolling back for SSK. With full Uber disadvantage. A couple of minutes gone off of the clock. Carpy gets a kill onto Nubby, and Kazarok goes down to Aji. So two people capable of getting a lot of damage out are out of the equation. Jackie with the jump in. Maybe he's on the DH, but he's, 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 he's in the moon. And he, <laughs> yeah, I think he's got air shot there or at the end as well. So that's, um, that's one way to deny a soldier. Focus trying his best to just spam people off of here. Um, but Roroprod and Joe are back up. Uh, well, at least Joe's still back up here. Roroprod does get doned by Kazarok. So just trying Hello. to take some pressure over this hill here, just try and get spam on this gun. That's like what we're doing. Mezzo has sapped it, so it should surely die here. It does in the end. And despite like having this disad, SCK are taking some really good ground here, and they force the the leave from uh, Phalo. As you do see, a, yeah, we got pawns around yeah, currently. I mean, this is this is good good play actually. I mean. In, when you consider the circumstances, SCCK, you know, they're, what, 30 40% behind in this situation. And, you know, quite easily, if they're not careful, they could have just got Ubered on. But, you know, Fela not really looking too keen to use his uh, defensive Ubers aggressively. So they just play it safe. And as soon as that sentry went down, they were like, okay, we're getting out of here. And you take a look at Spamfest has those revenge crits. I don't think you can see it on, on this HUD how many revenge crits an engineer has. But uh, revenge crits on that frontier justice. But I do think, you know, middle may get caught out here. Yeah, yeah middle's he's kind of uh, he's got he's got Jackalos mm -hmm. on top spamming him. He's got Nubby just on the choke here. Cut, like the only thing that's going to save him, like potentially, is just Carpy. But he's getting pressured by the scout as well. Yeah. So no heavy for your second point. Um, I'm not sure what the spawners are like, but for Dreamy, Aji, and Overprod, but that means they can't really hold forward easily without that heavy in the flank presence in tunnel. Mm -hmm. So we basically just got, um, despite the Uber disadvantage of SSEK, we've got a very favourable situation. I mean, they they're able to just bully them out at first without, like, with that disad, keeping the medic alive. And there's no one in position right now to kill Gedu. He's just so safe there, just sitting on these stairs. Yeah. Um, Carpy is like, I I I, I doubt Carpy is going to be able to hit this shot if he's got a scout on him. <laughs> But well, that's the thing. I'm, I'm looking at yeah. I'm looking at Jackie. Jackie's trying to get some damage down onto Middle. Middle is shooting Nubby. I think Nubby's going to try and kill Middle as well. So Middle will die here. It's just whether or not he can take people down with him, and he can't. He's going to get finished off by Mezzo of all people. And I'm sure that means Jackie and Nubby are going to just jump forward and try to maybe get a force on it. Jackie's in so deep with those well, those, yeah, those are crits. crits. I was going to say, with middle down and no level 3 sentry, it's all going to be up to spam fest with the Frontier Justice crits, and it comes to save the day. The crit um, shotguns are kind of a scary thing to, to get denied yeah. by, really. It's coming out like this, this little tiny engineer man just hits you for 120 damage just instantly, and look, oh, this Uber. Yeah. Oh, okay, they, they have recovered from the pyro denial, but everyone just scattering around just trying to minimize the damage taken, but get to, oh, he's still lucky to live there. Just gets out like, on the sliver of HP. Um, right now, I, I, my heart's a bit broken, so I'm currently having to hold tab to see who's up. <laughs> and, uh, we've, yeah. we've, we've got a little bit of a, of a push coming in for SK from the tunnel, but they've, they've lost three players. They're trying to take this window area to get the spam on the gun. They're still only level one. Joe is a little bit caught here. He might die, but does eventually exhale of his life. And uh, <laughs> the spy on spy action has uh, gone in favor of Ajay here. He's uh, Mezzo did get up on the gun, but gets backstabbed for his troubles. Uh, we've got the heavy in the window currently just trying to just, you know, hold this ground and, well, failure have just decided to give it up because, you know, fall down, just play it safe. It was really well played there. There was a lot of, you know, that, that Uber exchange went on and it just seemed really awkward because both teams just butted heads. But SCCK end up winning it because they just won in the DM fights. So a bunch of 1v1 fights going on. Carpy almost turned the tide. Um, but in the end, you know, and even and Spamfest with the Frontier Justice crits, you could just hear those crits ringing out. But in the end, uh, SCCK's players were able to win the fights, like Jackie and Yahoo um, winning some fights against Roboprod on the flank. So, yeah, in they've the got, end, yeah, they've yeah, got Roboprod, the but they got a force early here. Yeah, Yahoo's denying his, um, sorry, um, Sis is denying his best he can, but Yahoo has blasted him back. He's got been gunned down in the middle, but I think the damage has been done to the Zuba already. Like, look at the positioning from Fela. 
Yeah, Sentry went down as well. Nubby oh, just Nubby goes straight into Joe, yeah. and yeah, May I'm takes him down. I'm surprised he didn't die there. And Don't we do see, oh, again, oh, just so many people bleeding here. Nubby um, just getting so much damage down. Had no fear, just walking in and essentially like 1v1 piping Joe um, a couple of times. And Sis, Dreamy, Carpy all down. These are really important players at this kind of position. Um, Carpy up again, you know. I think he's got more points than anyone else in the server other than the medics at the moment. Has been having a big game for Fela and has to you know, get into position here. Is watching the choke. Oh, the battalions as well. They're just going to dust top battalions here. Jackie oh, Legs is jumping through drop down. Mezzo has taken down over a prod. Um, it was like a, he like Goomba stomped him. Like what's the that? animation, he like Goomba stomped him. It was brilliant. Oh, but there you go. Carpy with the, the headshot onto Nubby, but Joe goes down to Yahoo. Carpy goes down to Kazarok. Kazarok goes to another one onto Spamfest. So that level 3 sentry in a perfect position is now free to spam. Does get taken down. Four up for failure. Yeah, like we've gone from basically an, an equal Uber situation on third to just like a roll into last here. Like the, I can't see his cart being stopped. The Uber's been used onto it and the Uber's on top. Look how far away everybody is from the cart for failure esports. Oh, the best of onto it, but oh, everyone's just getting killed. Sis, like, gets into a great position. It's actually two versus three right now. Middle and Spamfest, the only person alive. Boca on the cart being healed and is going to be the savior as a uh, Rambosaur Sentry also got a kill. And, like, there was a really good moment there where Fela had, like, a much, much better Uber. They had a, such a better Uber, they were kind of in behind. And Sis jumps, like, falls down onto the car, perfect position to stand on the car and air blast people away. But Layla doesn't flash him, and he just gets piped by Nubby and goes down. And then Layla's just alone on the car with nobody to heal. And that's what you don't want as a medic to be surround, you know, to be Ubered and have no one to heal. Um, and SCCK, it, it just looked like a crumble there from failure. Like, they were looking strong for the first half of that, you know, well, for the first three quarters of this entire round. And then towards the last half, SCCK just were like, okay, let's turn it on a bit and get aggressive. And Fela had no answer to it. Yeah, I mean, Mario was really fairly alone for a lot of that. So just, every, like, on the, on the third point, he died instantly as he, like, just took space forward. And again, on the last point, um, mm -hmm. that's not what you really want to happen. He's sort of dying early, especially on upward last. Cause that's such a good spot for him just to sit up there and deny the cart. But without that soldier, it's just very difficult just to get spam on the people that are just rushing it. And it's easy to get punished. I mean, Sis going on the cart, as you said, would have been amazing if he'd have been flashed. But maybe just uh, just the, the sheer speed that SCK walked into last, maybe just disorienting Fader a bit. Yeah, and that means it is going to be the end of our game. The first game of Season 20, first week of the season. And uh, defending champions will take it against Fela Esports 6-0. That is going to be uh, six points to them and zero for Fela. I'm taking a look at the combined logs here. Um, extra solar and you know top damaging you know we got kind of I, I'm going to say two new players I guess because we've seen Nubby before we know how good Nubby is on Soldier but Nubby playing demo in Prem is, is not something we've seen before um, and you know top damaging 493 damage nearly 500 damage a minute is really really impressive on a, on a map like this and you know out damaging Joe by about 30 DPM, taking a lot more damage, but just you know taking those heals, walking forward, and, and just doing so much. Um, but top fragging is Carpy, who again I believe it's Carpy's first season in Prem, um, getting 38 kills. Kazarok, sniper of the season last time around, I believe, uh, getting yeah. 37. So just one behind, a little bit more damage, um, but uh, just just one behind on the kills. Poker Poska, sorry. Also getting a high, but you know the two snipers, the the highest fraggers, getting over thirty kills each. Is there anyone else who stands out to you there? As you know, because I mean we've we've analysed the game. I guess we've talked about how the the teamwork changed, but any other names jumping out? I just think both matchups like are pretty much even just across the board. It's hard to just pick out individual players. Like yeah, we could nitpick and say, oh look, Mezzo got seven more kills than Defs, but like that's not really anything we can really like draw much off. Like the thing that stands out most for me is Roboprod just getting 36 deaths. That's that's um, nine more than Aji. Um, I think that was more relevant in the last round. He just wasn't getting the support that he needed just to hold those areas. He was getting just completely spammed out by, I think, getting spammed out by the conch box of Jackie Legs or just sniped before every push. And I think it was it was very difficult for, for just Faber to deal with this, this aggression from the flank and the sniper. Um, mm -hmm. It's essentially losing their soldier before every fight is very, creates very disadvantageous situations for them. I think it's eventually will cost them the game. 
Yeah, I mean, it, it kind of adds up as, as time goes along. I have to go back on what I said. Apparently, Carpi has played Prem last season as well, played for Sensation Red, which makes it slightly more impressive. You know, Sensation Red were the team that finished bottom of Prem last season. So to yeah. go on to a, a match like this against the defending champions and top frag um, for season 20 in the first game is pretty impressive. I mean, yeah, I mean, you can look at other things like the Sniper v Sniper, Carpi slightly winning that 10 to 3 over Kazarok. Um, neither med really dropped. You can see a lot of heals going on to Sis there for Failer Esports, 21% actually getting more than the demo man. Um, but I mean, I think in reality, it wasn't really an individual situation. Yeah. I think we agree on that. Like it was just more the cohesion between the two teams and the choices they made when they had that advantage. And, and SCCK just really, you know, finishing out those advantages and, and picking off the medic at the right time. Yeah, they had like the shaky moments, as we mentioned just at the start of that second round there. But they they just restabilized right away. I think that was the. I think that maybe that's just the difference between the two teams is how they like just can recover from situations. Not not just like I know Fader had a really good recovery like in between rounds, but it's a, mm -hmm. it's a much different thing to recover in a situation in real time as opposed to having that that little bit of dead time in between rounds to think about how you've played. Yeah. Yeah, I think like. It really is. And it's not necessarily like you can look back at it over a demo review and we can sit here and talk about it right now. But it's a totally different thing when you're in that moment yeah. and thinking, OK, pressing tab, who's up for us? Who's up for them? Where are we? Where are they? Do we do we take that step forward? Do we bomb someone in now? And there were moments where, you know, you saw Jackie just going in with that conch and clearly being the big voice and saying, right, let's go forward. And, and there were times where. You know, um, Meza was getting a pick and they moved off of that, you know, like the sentry going down on the first point. That really was the catalyst for that that second round for them to just walk forward. They needed that opening. So, um, yeah, SCCK looking strong in their first match of the season. We will have more matches as the season progresses. Six teams, only one of them can be champion, but there will be three of them in playoffs. Three, four playoffs? I believe it's still three, isn't it? It's like a bracket. So. Yeah. We'll see how it goes, but uh, we'll be having our next match on Sunday, I believe. I don't believe. Oh, tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow as well. Oh, that's that'll be my team, wouldn't it? So there we go. Um, a match tomorrow. Extra Solar's team is playing. Do you know who you're playing? You uh, we are we are playing uh, Kitty S Bakan Badami. So it's the oh, there uh, we go. it's the spy versus the Russians. It's 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 the uh, it's, it's it's the meme match of the season, I believe. Ooh, so if you want to watch that, we might be casting over here on Chris Cast on another game on Sunday. I think it's going to be casted by uh, Jay Kawati and Eckstein, which would be the other two teams, um, Envision versus um, something that, that, reborn. That, that'll be Buck's team, will it? Multinational Massacre Bucks Reborn. Team. Yeah, there we go. So three Prem games within like four days. You guys are so lucky. You guys are so lucky. Lots of Highlander action for you. And we'll be bringing you more as the season goes on. Thank you very much for watching. I've been CJ John by Extra Solar. Thank you for casting with me. And of course, to Vhooft for doing all of the complicated stuff in the background. This has been Chris Cast, and we'll see you next time. Hi, old beaver. Away!